Hi, I'm Mike McCormick here at the GVTA studio, and I'm here with Rob Gurney, CEO of One World. Rob, great to have you. Welcome to convention. Great to be here, Mike. Thanks very much. So you recently uh, took the new job. It started in October of last year, so less than a year. But uh, maybe give you a little time to find the coffee maker and uh, yeah. and, and see what's what within One World. What are, what have you found so far? And and uh, w w you know, a little little reflection on your first nine months. Yeah. Look, um, you know, just by way of context, um, I, I've been involved in One World in one way or another right. for over quite a long period of time because. Right. I work for British Airways, I work for Qantas, but I've been kind of out of it for five years. And what was sort of interesting was some things have changed and um, uh, certainly on the membership side, we've right. recruited some large airlines, but maybe some of the other things hadn't developed at the pace that you might expect. And, and I think really for, um, you know, for us, um, it's about transforming this alliance into something that's relevant in the moving now into the third decade of the 21st century. That's it in very simplistic terms. We can talk a little bit more about that, exactly what we've been doing. Well, I was going to say, I mean, I think I think the marketplace, you know, could argue is that it's just another really interesting and dynamic inflection point, right? That, you know, all the all the things that, that we're all facing in terms of the dynamics of the world today, you know, are really, I think, being tested, right? With the geopolitical environment, et cetera. And that has an effect on alliances as well. It does, and I think your your terminology, your point of inflection is, is very apt because, I mean, you step back and you think, well, these things were kind of started two decades ago, and we think about what's transpired over the last sort of 18, 20 years. Market structures have changed, industry structures have changed. Um, the role of technology, big data, consumer behaviors have changed. The operating models of the member airlines have changed. Very Our member much, airlines right. have gone through significant sort of transformations. So with, with this rapidly changing external environment, uh, we map that against perhaps the progress that the One World and arguably the other alliances, but we're obviously here to talk about One World, have made on the sort of customer value proposition. It probably has lagged um, what the, uh, the rest of the industry and the member airlines have done in their own right. So, so you know, one of the key priorities for us is to you know, really move uh, very for fast forward on an innovation sprint to really take us uh, to, to the place where we need to be. And, you know, essentially it's about, you know, leveraging digital capabilities and, and connecting one world with the consumer's uh, digital uh, life. Yeah, because the challenge of, uh, back to your kind of description of connecting the world, right? But that need, you know, uh, it's funny, it's a funny contrast. That need exists more than ever. Travelers are going, yeah. traveling, going to places, all, you know, and have the need to get there efficiently. You know, the old days of, you know, needing to get to a single destination, one that's well known. Now you're, you got travelers going all over the world, and clearly, an alliance can still play a significant role in that that part. Right? Absolutely, and you know, when you look at it, so to, again, just to contextualize, if you take our, our largest member, American Airlines, very substantial airline, 350 destinations. Uh, um, uh, uh, 50 odd uh, countries they fly to. Um, One World um, takes that forward exponentially, exponentially to around a thousand destinations right. and well over 100 right. countries. So, so yeah. So the network presence um, uh, that One World offers is, is 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 a huge asset for for our member airlines and our customers. And the way we sort of see it, Mike, is that um, we see these global alliances like as, as more like an ecosystem. What they do is provide a customer-facing way of explaining what these things are all about. And within that ecosystem, we have different kind of operating models. We have code shares, we have frequent flyer arrangements, of course. We have joint businesses and joint right. ventures within that, but they all fit within that ecosystem. But the One World ecosystem provides that platform to be able to communicate and explain to the customer what the value proposition is. So looking forward, uh, what, what do you see like as the next, next couple of years of you in the role? What, you know, what's the, the biggest initiative or the top thing you're going to be focused on where the business traveler is concerned? Yeah, look, I, I think, you know, the, the, the key areas really are um, how we uh, transform the customer experience in a way um, that actually um, simplifies it for our customers, but also simplifies the delivery for our member airlines. And, and that's obviously leverage on our, uh, the digital capabilities um, that exist today. You know, even five years ago, some of the things that we you know, can do today, we wouldn't have been able to do five years ago. I mean, you know, I think the opportunities to be able to more seamlessly connect um, um, are there. Um, uh, so that's one piece of that. The second priority is not to try and um, eat an elephant. In other words, um, we've got to be able to chunk this down into real tangible initiatives that we can deliver within a reasonable time frame. Because we could say today, 
this might be useful, but we might not get to it in two or three years' time. By the time we get to that point in time, it may not be relevant it's all anymore. Changed again, right. So unless yep. you can actually execute and get into market and get the product delivered within six to 12 months, you know, it's not going to work, I don't think. And the last thing is then how do we, against that context of um, an enhanced sort of delivery proposition for our customers and our member airline, um, the opportunity to reimagine what the brand uh, looks like as well. Right. So they're the kind of key things that we're, we're thinking about and working on. So love to talk to you some more about it in the future as these things develop. Yeah, I'll be curious to see where we are this time yeah. next year. Yeah, right? perfect. Thank you very well, much. Good luck in the new role. Thank you. As you move forward. And again, Rob Gurney from One World, and I'm Mike McCormick from GVTA Studio Live.